welcome back to another Trader Joe's haul. Um, starting off with some Frozens, I got these pumpkin cheesecake croissants ready to bake. Two croissants frozen. Here is that. I'm so excited to try this. I did find like some of the seasonal pumpkin stuff that I haven't seen at my store yet. Um, as well as I saw these last time, but I didn't pick them up. These are pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. Like, come on. This looks so good. All right, and then I think this might be seasonal, I'm not sure. This is caramel apple ice cream surrounded by sweet rice dough. This is caramel apple mochi. There's that. Then there's this brownie crisp coffee ice cream sandwiches. I don't know if this is seasonal, but I've never seen this before. So I'm super excited about that. This is something that I used to get all the time. These french onion soups they are super good i just do them in the microwave there's like obnoxious directions about how to do them in the oven but um yeah i they're just like these little cubes and you just put that like in a in a bowl in the microwave for a few minutes and then you have yourself some french onion soup also that's kind of the same look as this spinach artichoke dip. Last time I got the spinach garlic dip, it comes in like the refrigerated section, they didn't have it. So I got one of these. This is the spinach artichoke dip. And it looks like this, same thing. You put it in the microwave in a bowl, so good. Then I got this quiche Lorraine ham and cheese. This looks pretty good. And then they actually did have our Chinese food this time. We got two more things, a mandarin orange chicken. We got two vegetable fried rices. And I was nervous that they didn't have the mandarin orange chicken, so this was before it in like the freezer aisle. This is a mandarin style orange chicken bowl. Tender batter, dark chicken meat, fried rice, vegetables, mandarin style orange ginger sauce. So the guy at the register, he's like, yeah, I grab these for lunch sometimes. I'm like, yeah, that'd be a great thing to take to work. So. Super excited for that. Um, and then this is Kung Pao chicken. I thought it was like sweet and sour chicken, like with like the, the red like sweet sauce on it. They haven't had that in a while, but I got this. And then I saw in a video, seasoned waffle cut fries. That these are really good. So that's it for the Frozens. I'm gonna put all those away. Okay. On to the rest of the haul. Um, I actually went last week. I didn't get much stuff, but I did get this maple streusel bread. It smells so good. I actually haven't had any of it, but it must be decent because Eric has eaten like a third of it. So it's probably really good. This I've never seen before. I don't know about this. This is a rice cracker medley. It's gluten-free. A mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt, and vinegar and chili with spicy green peas. I have no idea what desire I had to get this, but we're gonna try it and see. Um, I got, like I said earlier, I got the um, spinach garlic dip last time and they didn't have it. So I grabbed this buffalo style chicken dip, White chicken meat with cream cheese, sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, and shredded Monterey Jack cheese. So, excited to try that. That's what that looks like. I got, this was on an end cap. How cute is this? Like, come on, it's Halloween pasta. This is black and orange parpadelle pasta. And they had that on an end cap next to this pumpkin Alfredo sauce. I don't know, definitely gonna try that. I mean, it was on the end cap. So, um, this I got last time too. They have cornbread stuffing mix. Um, starting to see some thanksgiving -y stuff. They had a lot of like frozen, like sweet potatoes and corn and like Thanksgiving-y -y sides. Um, this is the uh, unexpected cheddar, broccoli cheddar soup. There was somebody standing in front of like this part of the uh, refrigerated case. So maybe that's why I didn't get as many refrigerated things this time. But broccoli cheddar soup, who doesn't love that? This is a pumpkin spice latte 
This has been out for a while, but they haven't had it at my store. This is in the refrigerated section. It was like the first thing when I walked in. So I'm like super, I'm, I should have got two of them. I'm super excited to try that. And I know my boyfriend likes that too. Um, pumpkin pie spice, cause I went to go make pumpkin dump cake and I didn't have any pumpkin pie spice, believe it or not, in my house. This, um, everything but the leftovers, like Big Brother fan leftovers, um, had to get it. This is a seasoning. And it says everything but the leftovers is a savory of spices and herbs that gives a nod to traditional meal. Use this seasoning on potatoes, eggs, meat, and vegetables. So I think this is something that I would try on like scrambled eggs maybe. So had to get that. Um, how about, how freaking cute is this? This is a Trader Joe's micro tote with grocery bag. It's two bags in one. Inner grocery bag folds and is stored inside micro tote bag. Micro tote bag is compact and easy to keep with you all the time. So you're never without a reusable bag. This is so cute. I could not. I had to have it. I'm sorry. It's just so adorable. These I got last week and um, they still had them this week. I haven't gone into them yet, but this is the pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. They're kind of soft and spongy, so. That's what these are. I don't know. Um, and then I seen this. I haven't seen this in anything yet. Um, this is sweet and savory, lightly spiced pumpkin spread. A tasty savory counterpoint to cheese and cold cuts or to accompany roasted meats and vegetables. See, I was just gonna eat this with a sun butter sandwich, but this sounds like something for like a cheese board maybe. I don't know. But this is also adorable, so had to get that. This next thing, I am so intrigued. Like, what the heck is a kiwi berry? What is a kiwi berry? I, I don't know what it is. I'm very curious to try it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got more of this um, chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, it is so good. It is so freaking good. Um, I got this. I was excited to see these. Um, I've been seeing these in a bunch of Trader Joe's videos and they haven't had them any time they've gone until now. So I think these have been out for a month. These are the hot Mexican style hot chocolate melts. Um, it's a hot chocolate bun. Um, this is, and it says like heat one cup of milk or your non-dairy beverage add a hot cocoa melt to the warm beverage and allow it to melt. Once melted, stir and completely stir until completely dissolved. It is a cinnamon flavored white chocolate confections filled with milk chocolate drops and marshmallows. Like, come on. And they're cute little pumpkins. That's so sweet. Um, I got more of um, pita chips and corn dippers. These corn dippers, I had them the other day. They're like nice and thick and hearty for like a dip. Um, got some bananas, got some rolls. The reason why I went. This, um, there was only one left on the shelf, so they must be good. Um, these are apple pumpkin um, hand pies. Two all butter crust hand pies. Ooh, you can heat them up. Um, it's got oven instructions and air fryer instructions. Air fryer, remove from packaging and place in air fryer. Heat to 350, five to seven minutes. Wow, that's so cool. See, I would've just eaten them. I didn't know that they could be, you know, heated up. That's gotta be so good. Um, and then I got more of these. I love having these with coffee. They're like little chocolate straws. This is my third container um, <laughs> in the past month or so that I've been going to Trader Joe's consistently. And then this last thing raises the bar, granola bar with oats, millet, quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, dark chocolate chunks. Whenever I see a granola bar that doesn't have nuts in it, I'm willing to try it because it is hard to find um, granola bars that don't have nuts in them. And I've never seen this at Trader Joe's before. It was on the end cap, so I had to buy it. Um, and then last thing, I always get flowers. So these are the flowers that I got today. And I got this last week. This is the cutest thing. It is so nice. And it's like a, um, it said it's like air purifying plants. I don't have the tag anymore for it, but this is freaking adorable and I love it. And then once it's done, you know, it comes out of the pot. So 
you could use the pot for, you know, seasonal stuff. So there you have it. Another Trader Joe's haul. I also got this. I don't know if this is seasonal. This olive oil, it was $5.99. I think that's a good price for olive oil. So there you have it. Another Trader Joe's haul. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'll try the chicken like that.